that I would love to share with you all. So brace yourself and let's roll. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please, and hit the thumbs up button. Okay? The story goes like this. I am 30 years old and I've been married for 10 years with four kids, two boys and two girls. I met my hobby at a very tender age. I was in SS2. I went to all girls unity boarding school outside my state. He was sent to our school for his youth service and were from the same state with a son in the rank Abel. He was born into a family with a golden spoon a man when i say fine this baba was fine for africa chai sexy he was so sexy with nice physique and body everything was just in place but you know i was still a youngie then and i was shy although we didn't talk to each other and you know girls school now we're all drawn to him but he looked very proud so i avoided him like a plague he really laughs and he goes about his business with so much seriousness you know then i used to represent my school a lot in quiz competitions and i was the school choir mistress he was later assigned to be taking us out on our different outings. Before I knew it, we just started talking to each other. And he one day mentioned he never believed I could talk to him, that I looked sassy. Very funny. <laughs> I got to know him and I realized he was very nice and humble guy, very down to head and real. We started our friendship and he was like an elder bro to me. He would bring me provisions, toiletries, including part self. He knew when I was on. We were that close so much that my parents coming during visiting day did not make much meaning again. I lived like a queen. We talked on every issue when I visited him in the staff room. When we had no lectures and sometimes when school is over, and that was our only meeting place. Ranging from my fears in life, my ambition, and of course, sex. And he kept drumming into my ears that any man that sleeps with me now only wants the cookie and nothing else. So I should keep myself and all that. And one day he asked if I was a virgin. I told him no but i was and he said even if i wasn't i shouldn't accept it with anyone again then during one of the visiting day my parents met him and i got him introduced to them as our brother copper has been like a brother to me my parents thanked him and my dad gave him some good cash and left our gossip spread everywhere that I'm dating a copper so much that our principal summoned us and begged him that if he has anything in mind that he should please desist that I am too brilliant to be messed up then he passed out while we were writing our promotion exams to SS3 I cried for days he cried too and I promised to visit him in Uyo when I was home for the holidays, but time and event made me forget him and I never visited till I wrote my wayek and went back home. Then one day I sat with my mom to watch the network news and his dad's name was mentioned and my mom casually asked, that must be that copper's dad and I said yes smiling and then I started wondering and imagining what he looks like now as i've not set my eyes on him since he left our school then one day i entered their street and i decided to surprise him 
By then, I had started driving my mom's car and I wanted to show him his baby, like he used to call me, is now a big girl. I knocked on their gates. Uniform men came out and I asked after him. They told me he no more lived there with his parents and I was given his own address. Okay, oh. <laughs> I went home. And one weekend, during jam classes in the evening, I went looking for him. I went to the compound, asked of him, and his security told me he just drove in and asked me if he was expecting me. I said no, but gave him my name. He left. Before I could say Jack, I saw my bobo opened the gate and gave me the longest hug ever. He ushered me into his house and we talked. We talked and talked. T took me around his house and showed me everywhere. He had started to walk and was doing well. I made dinner and we ate. While cleaning up the dishes in the kitchen, he came behind and hugged me turned me around and started kissing me and told me baby I have always loved you and I told him then let's make love he asked me are you sure I replied yes he carried me to his bedroom undressed me and started romancing me he kept asking me if I'm sure I want to do this laugh out loud when it was time to do the do, come see to Chai. Oh my god, it was huge. He wore his CD and tried inserting, but it was locked up. Though I was very wet, he thought I did not open up well, and he pumped in. Oh my god, the pain was out of this world, and I bleed. He withdrew went down and looked at my v saw blood on his bed spread the guy just went lame realizing that he just disvirgined me he became sad and asked why i lied to him in school i replied it wasn't necessary i almost had to beg him to continue and it took a while before he went hard again he made love to me a few days to my 17th birthday, took me to the bathroom, gave me a warm bath. I told him I needed to go home as it was almost 8 p.m. He drove me home and I promised to visit him again, but that was it. Then I traveled out for a year and we totally lost contact. I lost his number as I did not have a phone by then. Unknowing to me, he had been going to our house to check up on me, but our security man keep posting him and couldn't tell him I've traveled and he refused to even give him my contact. Then I came back, got admission, started school and went into other relationships at different times. I got angry with him because I felt he didn't look for me. Not knowing he has been trying his best to reach me, but I couldn't take him out of my mind. One day in my second year, I met an old classmate and the next thing she said was, Boo has been looking for you everywhere. And that I should please try and call him. He gave me his number. I called him immediately and just by saying hello, he called me name. He asked too many questions at the same time. I couldn't answer all. I told him I'm at the hostel. It was on Thursday. He drove down and took me home. I told him everything. He gave me his own side of the story and how many people he met so he could reach me. We talked at length and I forgave him. Time to go back to the hostel, he said. You're going nowhere and you better start getting used to being here. 
I told him, I didn't come with any of my things. He said, I shouldn't bother. He left me there, drove out, and bought me everything I will need. So much clothes with perfect fitting. He came back, we ate, and he gave me a bath. Took me to the room, cuddled me, and we slept. I was under house arrest from Thursday to Sunday. He never made love to me, but we kissed. Then he asked me to pack on Sunday so he would drop me at the hostel. But on our way back, he took another way. And I asked him why. He said he wants to drop something for his dad. He took me to his parents' house, and to my greatest surprise, he told his parents he brought his wife to them and that he planned on getting married as soon as possible. His mom was forced to ask if I'm pregnant. I said no and we all laughed. No one understood the rush. Mind you, we never talked marriage and I was just 19 years old. His parents fell in love with me immediately and his dad said I should go home and tell my parents that they are expecting guests the following day by five. I was confused because I was in a relationship though. It was full of troubles as he was outside the country and I wasn't ready for marriage. I looked jazzed. I went home to talk to my mommy, but she did not accept though. Especially when I mentioned his name. And my mom shouted, the copa and gave me sad eyes like this girl don't spoil tea so i had to explain and explain and that it's not what she thought and i told her the entire truth then she said i was too young to get married and i had to cry and beg we went together to see my dad and my dad accepted the following day himself dad and uncle visited my parents and introduction was fixed the following Sunday, he never even proposed to me. He didn't even want to have sex with me, though I tried initiating it, and he said he's not going to take advantage of me again, that if I want him to sleep with me again, I should marry him. No proposal, no ring. Well, three months later, we got mar married traditionally, court and church wedding. It was a union for our old girls. My former principal came to my wedding and till today, no one believed I did not date him in school. It's 10 amazing years now. I have graduated. I'm working with four kids and our love life is overwhelming. I couldn't have made any other choice. He's simply the best. And this is the end of the story. So guys... Thanks for listening and please my darlings, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'm going to see you in the next one. Ciao!